box now collapsed to the ground. That's it, Hawk. I'm finished. Grab my saddlebags for me, please. His dog patch was on the ground, barely breathing. Hawk came back with his saddlebags in hand. Fox reached in and got his communication mirror. Magi, can you hear me? You will have to come and pick up the magic items. I won't be able to get them to you. I am dying. Fox got no response from the mirror. He turned to Hawk. Get these items back to Magi. Why should she? You can give them to me yourself, Magi said, appearing behind Hawk. Hawk jumped forward in surprise. Magi, can you hear him? Hawk asked, hopefully, with tears in her eyes. Magi looked at Fox's wounds. Of course I can, no problem. Well, my boy, do you think I would let you die? You have proved very useful in the past, and besides that, I like you very much, he said with a chuckle. Well, thank you, I think. So you are planning for me to be in debt to you for a change, Fox replied. Yes, it will make a pleasant change to be able to call on you in the future, Magi laughed again. So if I'm going to be at your beck and call for the foreseeable future, then let's make the debt a big one. I have 40 wounded men, none with life-threatening injuries, plus there are horses that need seeing to, Fox said. Is that all you want from me, for possibly risking your life, Magi inquired? That will do for the time being, Fox responded. The wounded were brought out from the tunnels and Magi set to work. The last two warriors were being brought out. A shout went out. The tunnel floor had collapsed, sending Wolf tumbling into a cave below. Fox, who had now been healed, rushed to the sound of the commotion, followed by Magi and Hawk. Now all three were cautiously peering down the hole that had appeared an engulfed wolf. It appears to be an egg chamber. There must be at least a hundred of them down here. Do you think they are armoured burrowers? And do you think they could be hatched out after being down here for 20 years? Wolf called out excitedly. Just then, Ibex came to the tunnel entrance and cleared his throat. Can I have a word, Fox? Knowing that Ibex had something to report that he didn't want the wizard to hear, Fox followed outside. Bad news, Fox. All the villagers were so angry about being made to look foolish by the Black Hand family for so many years. They've captured all the spies and warriors, but the crowds went mad and they were all put to death. And now wanted posters are up in every village and stringent checks are made at the gates. Any stranger has to be cleared before entering. This could turn out to be a mercenary's delight. You know how shifty these villagers can be. They will be cutting off arms and claiming rewards on innocent people, said Ibex. I will sort that out later with the leaders of the villages. Let's just not let Magi know for the moment, said Fox. No, I will keep it under my hat, Ibex assured Fox.